You know the reason I am so concerned is that this case is very similar to what happened before you took over this company, main boss Sally. I'm aware, and I'm sure it's with good reason. Excuse me? Someone is framing me, Jeannie. I'm telling you. Someone is setting this up to make it look like I'm the one that did it. And they're making it look like what happened with the last main boss, so that everyone will think it's me. But it's not. What evidence do you have? My evidence is that I didn't do it. Firstly, I wasn't even here. Secondly, I would never trust anyone in this division to do my dirty work for me. That girl Carol, though, I wouldn't put it past her. Carol? She is vicious investigator. Don't let her fool you. She's had it in for me ever since. Ever since? It's not important. The point is, she's dangerous investigator. And you'd be a fool to trust whatever she said. From the looks of it, Sally, you're making yourself out to be everything you're saying about Carol. And she's the one who contacted me in the first place. She's tenacious, I'll give her that. But she's kind-hearted. I don't believe anyone like her would kill their own brother. That's what she wants you to believe. Then tell me, what reason does she have to do this? What does she have against you? I told you, it's not important. Sally, if you withhold this information from me, I will have to detain you. Be my guest, Jeannie. I'm not digging up the past and putting a smear on my name. Once you've realized I've done nothing wrong, you'll release me. Detained it is, then. Do I at least get a phone call? And so they think it's me. All because of what happened to Sanderson and Summers six years ago. It doesn't matter, Sally. I'm going to get you out of here. How? I can be pretty persuasive. Oh, I know. They can't do this to you. They have no idea what you're capable of. What we're capable of. So, is that it then? It was him? It looks like it. At least he was the one to do in Mike. But, well, Patricia wasn't killed with a gun. Her throat was slit. Slit? With what? Um, I'm not sure. The markings and thickness indicate some sort of pocket knife or a razor. Hey, Carol, you all right? If he's the one that killed my brother. Carol, I'm sorry. I want to see him. Of course. I just have to move the evidence from the conference room. Carol, we're here for you. I just... I need a moment. And to think I thought it was her. You? Why would you think? I don't know. Paul, same reason Susie thought it was me. We're all just tense right now. At least now we know it was none of us. You all stay here. I'm grabbing the gun to lock it away for good. I still don't get it. What reason would James have to do something like that? I don't know, Graham. He always seemed kind of unhinged, you know? Talks to himself, changes moods like that. I don't know. I always got bad vibes from him. Do you think he knew what he was doing? It doesn't matter, Susie. He did it. Yeah, I guess. Hey, guys, I have an important question to ask. I've been thinking about this for a while now, and I just can't get it. What is it? Wh what does office stand for? Oh my goodness. Are you kidding? No, I mean seriously. Like, I've been trying to guess at it for ages, and there's no Wi-Fi here, so I couldn't look it up. But I've been wondering this for, like, ever, and now that I work here, it'd be kind of embarrassing if I didn't know. <laughs> well, that one's easy, Paul. Office stands for... Which one of you did this? Did what? The gun! The gun! Who took the gun?! <laughs> so... Did you figure it out yet? How did you get in here?! You know how. My name's... What'd you say, buddy? My name's... not... Jack. No, it's and not. Your name's not Dean. No, it's not. My name is... is... J.D. Yes, it is. 
James Dean. Mm-hmm. I'm... You? <sighs> Surprised it took you this long. I mean, I tried to warn you about the gun. You were trying to get me caught! I was trying to get us caught. Don't you get it? I'm the fun you. You're the boring you. What are you mumbling about? Sorry, Mike. I killed Mike. Yes, you did. You made me kill him! Jack, Jack, you made yourself kill him. Get out of my head. Get out, get out! Sorry, Jackie. It's like I said, you're stuck with me forever. And when the investigator sends in a team, it's off to jail. Or the asylum, depending if they find out about me or not. Then you'll really be stuck with me. Get out! Get out! Get it's out! too bad, Jack. You can't get rid of yourself! What the? Jack, now Jack, don't do something unreasonable. My life's already over, Dean! I killed because of you. I'm not living with you for the rest of my- You need me, Jack. I need you. Don't you get it? I... I... to the lobby. I'm calling in reinforcements. I don't understand, Jeannie. H how did he get the gun? Someone gave it to him. Gave it to him? One of us? But why? Why would someone want Whoever to- Whoever he was working with obviously wanted to shut him up before he would say anything. <sighs> Damn it. Damn it. Back to the lobby. Now. Everyone stays there. What about Sally? Okay, then I'm gonna call and I'll... Both of you in the lobby. Now. But now! All right, listen up, everyone. We all know JD had the gun that killed Michael. Now JD is lying dead in the other room, which means one of you gave him the gun. Now JD was either working for someone in this building or with someone in this building, but either way, it was one of you. You all have your own reasons to do something like this. Sally, you want more control over this company. You want power and you'd do anything to get it. And don't think anyone forgets how you got this job in the first place. Miso, maybe you were just helping her. And Graham, Maybe you were just tired of being a secretary. You wanted to stir the pot a little. But if you were smart, you would have killed Carol to do that. And Carol? You and Sally have some sort of beef. I don't know what it is, but it must be important. Maybe you want her position. You have some sort of personal vendetta against Krisha Shraw ever since she ditched you. You might just hate this company after you never solved the mystery that killed your dad. And you? What is your name again? P Paul. Paul. What do, you, what do you want, Paul? Peace on Earth? All right, well, you're just stupid. So maybe you did the dirty work for someone else. But either way, it was one of you. And I'm just going to stand here until one of you fesses up. Fine, we'll do it the hard way. Jeannie, what are you doing? Checking the security footage. Make sure no one leaves the lobby. Oh my god. Come with me. Reinforcements will be here shortly. What? It was you. The security footage showed you taking the gun from the conference room. I... <laughs> I don't understand. All of you stay silent. Dorian, come with me now or you'll be removed by force. Inspector, I didn't do anything. Of course I... it is. 
Wait, what? I didn't, what? I didn't do anything. I've been here the entire time. Are you serious? I... And you all thought it was me. I never said it was you, Sally. I just wanted to make sure the investigation was thorough. So you brought up my past? All because of what happened? I mean, what did you want me to say, Carol? Yeah, I did it. I killed Sanderson and Summers. My girlfriend Miso and I staged an elaborate plot to take them out so that they would make me main boss of office. And you've been pissed at me ever since because it was you who was supposed to be main boss and not me. There. You happy? No. Sally, I respect you. You know that. It's just... You treat me like shit. You treat all the division bosses like shit. Even Mike said you were a bitch. It's true. It's just... I turned my desire for recognition into hatred, and I let it control me. I'm sorry. See? I told you she'd apologize. Shut up, Miso. You've only been here for like one episode. Yeah, where did you even come from? I came to visit Sally to get her out of here. But it looks like we'll all be going home anyways. I just can't believe it. Noreen? Why would she do this? You had said it yourself, Susie. She must have hated Patricia. And Carol. It's hard to lose your best friend. So you killed three people over it. I don't know, Susie. It's been a long day. I agree. Girl, you're still the sixth richest CEO in the world. I wouldn't be talking. You? It was a joke, sweetie. A joke. Calm down. Well, Noreen's been taken care of. She's still denying it, but she'll come around. Make sure she stays there. With pleasure. Unbelievable. We should have seen it sooner. She had the most reason to get rid of Patricia, like you said, Susie. None of us could see this coming, Graham. I mean, Mike? I didn't even know she knew Mike. <coughs> well, the rest of the police force should be here within the hour. I'm going back to headquarters to relay everything I've seen here. Thank you, Jeannie. Of course. And to everyone. I'm sorry for your losses. It's been a hard 24 hours for everyone. Yeah. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm resigning first thing in the morning. What? This has been pretty traumatic for me, Carol, and I'm literally just an intern. I think I'd be happier somewhere else. It's not about you guys, it's just... A lot's going through my head now, you know? We get it, Paul. Well, at least everything's settled now. I mean, what else could possibly happen? Who's there? No, 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 no.